I'm Thomas Walkup with Jagiris. Welcome to EuroLeague Rooks. So here we are in the locker room. Uh, as you can see, pretty incredible. Uh, it's like an NBA locker room. I mean, each, each player has plenty of space. Uh, everything's you know up to date, brand new. Uh, we watch film in here, so we got a, a nice big TV. Uh, and this is the the famous uh, Jagadis logo. And uh, the rule is, if you step on it, you gotta you gotta rep out ten push-ups. So. Uh, and everybody is always, you know, stepping over and whatnot. Uh, but yeah, this is this is the locker room here, and uh, pretty pretty lucky. This is uh, I'd imagine the best the best one in Europe. So this here is the big gym, uh, obviously where you play. And uh, anybody that's played here will tell you it's a it's a pretty special experience. Brand new. 15,000 fans, uh, all loud, all passionate. Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a really special place. And, and only a few times in my life have I um, ever had the experience of, of getting chills, you know, pregame. And um, every single EuroLeague game, I get the chills. And um, it's, it's, it's very special in here. And, and, uh, and I think as, as a basketball fan, this is, uh, you know, for European basketball, at least this is, this is the Mecca, you know, it's, it's, at least for me. So. Uh, very, very special in here, and uh, as you can see, it's it's beautiful, man. It's really beautiful. Uh, so before I uh, came to Europe, I didn't know anything about the Euro League. Uh, very minimal. I knew, you know, maybe some of the, the bigger clubs that, that that were in it, and that's about the extent of it. Uh, and then I got over here, saw a little bit how European basketball worked, the different European competitions. Um, and I, I learned a little bit more, started watching European basketball, just kind of learned um, how the game is played differently over here. Um, and then the jump to EuroLeague uh, was, was huge. You know, there's, there's a, a big jump, um, talent level, size, the speed of the game, how guys think the game. Uh, I mean, it's a, a big jump. And, uh, and then also experience. Most of the guys in EuroLeague um, have been doing it for, for a long time, especially uh, you know the domestic guys. Um, you know, so a ton of experience. Um, that's a that's a tough thing to go against. But then it's also a great great uh, you know part whenever guys on my team have that experience and, and uh, you know can help me through, help me get adjusted. Um, you know as quickly as possible. And uh, you know so um, there was an adjustment period, but uh, I feel like I've I, I've adjusted and, and starting to figure it out. So we got some ground chicken here. I'm gonna pour the eggs over this and uh, get some breakfast tacos going to start the morning. And then we got some blueberry pancakes here. That's the way to start the day. What we got going on today? Today we got Lithuania Independence Day. Uh, so we're gonna come out here, check out 
uh, the celebration around the town, see what it's all like, and uh, enjoy a little bit of sunshine that's coming out today. Uh, get into my Lithuanian roots, man. Start drinking coffee till I got to Europe. Now I'm trying to adapt, adapt to the culture. And a little midday coffee is about as European as it gets. So enjoy a little cappuccino. Oh. So yeah, this weather is uh, it's tough. It's tough out here. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, just earlier uh, today, around nine o'clock this morning, it was uh, sunshine, clear blue sky, and and now it's not. It's not. So, so yeah, we got a we got a nice ten minute hike back to the back to the crib and uh, gonna try and, and uh, avoid frostbite while doing so. so let's get after it. Uh, it's it's been a little bit of adjustment for the winter and the uh, the weather side of things for sure. Uh, you know, in, in Germany last year it didn't it, it wasn't too terrible, and then uh, obviously back home you know it's it's warm you know you know near, near all year round. Uh, so getting over here. Um, it was it was tough for, for a little bit when it when it started snowing in October, uh, but then you know once I got adjusted it was fine. Learned how to drive in the snow, uh, you know, or in deeper snow I guess. Uh, and then as far as the people, uh, the people are awesome, man. They 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 love basketball here. They say it's a second religion, and uh, you know it shows when they show you know fifteen thousand strong to a to a Euro league game, and, uh, and they're loud all game long, and, and they're cheering all game long, and they're behind us. Uh, you know, and they have been the whole season. Uh, it's, it's a really special place to play because the fans, uh, you know, make it that way. So uh, I love being here. Um, Kaunas is a re really neat city. Uh, you know, so much to uh, so much history that's happened here, and uh, uh, not just in Kaunas, but in, but in Lithuania in general. And uh, really cool place to be. <laughs>
is sending it back down to walk up who will look for the triple and drains another one their three-point shooting tonight has been devastating feels great we've been playing great basketball as of late uh you know it's, it's so fun to play in this arena whenever uh you have 15,000 with you rocking with you uh loud uh, just makes for a hostile environment for the other team. Uh, we're playing like this basketball is a lot, a lot of fun. So uh, you know, we just got to keep doing this. Uh, for us to make this playoff push, we we just have to stay focused. Uh, I think we're really, you know, hitting our stride. Uh, we played well uh, last couple weeks, and we have really, uh, you know, finally started to put together a little bit of a streak. Which uh, you know, with the Euro League, it's really difficult to do. Uh, because you know, every like I said, every single game, every single night is, is a, you know it's a dogfight, and uh, so we finally put together a, a little bit of a run here, and uh, you know we need to continue that, uh, and then continue to get better as a team. You know, it's, uh, the good teams continue to improve all year long, and uh, you know we do just need to continue to get better, and uh, hopefully you know catch that eighth spot and uh, make some noise in, in the playoffs. This parking garage ain't easy, man. Alright, so this is the garage. Moves right into the house. Alright. Walk in. Um, it's a living room. Really like the brick. Kind of gives it that old school modern feel. Uh, this is the kitchen. Uh, before I played overseas, I was an awful cook. I still am an awful cook, but I at least uh, cook now. I enjoy cooking. Um, so I got plenty of room to do that. It's a nice, uh, big enough kitchen, at least for one person. Um, over here, there's all my cards and stuff that my family has sent um, just throughout the, throughout the year. And it's, uh, you know, being away from home, it's a nice little, uh, nice little uh, thought of, of them. And uh, never once fall read some of these cards. And, um, Nice taste of home. Uh, in here, got a couple books, Bible, journals, and stuff. And it's kind of been the first year that I've gotten into reading a little bit and not just play video games all year in my free time. So, <laughs> so it's, uh, it's a nice little switch up. And here, just downstairs bathroom, but most importantly, washer and dryer Europeans really aren't into the whole uh, you know dryer thing so uh, that was a major key when moving in I had to make sure we had the dryer here all right coming upstairs uh, I should have thought about this whenever I moved in but a lot of a lot of wasted trip up and down the stairs <laughs> I'm pretty forgetful at times so quite a few times I'll come up here forget something Make another trip downstairs. Uh, well, we got the gaming TV and uh, the secondary TV. It's really awesome when sporting events are on. Uh, I can sit here, uh, game a little bit, be connected with my friends on Xbox. Got you know all an Xbox party or something. But then also watch uh, you know games that are on. You know the basketball games and night. Uh, you know football season, of course. You know some football. This here is. Uh, my bedroom, and uh, it's cool. Had to get the the blackout curtains. Uh, you know, practicing until you know later on in the day a lot, so I like to sleep in when I can, and uh, so that, that was a must. And then uh, you know, closet. And, uh, it's nice. There's plenty of room here. You don't feel crammed. Uh, I think that's a big thing for me. Uh, you know, as basketball players, we have a lot of free time, a lot of time to, uh, you know, spend by ourselves. So it's, it was kind of nice for me to be able to get a little bit bigger spot. Uh, this is the second bedroom here. It's, uh, it's really awesome. You know, my parents came over. They have their own space, plenty of room. Uh, you know, it's, it's so nice to be able to have guests here and uh, be able to, you know, give them a, a place to sleep and they don't have to spend you know, extra money on top of travel and all that stuff, you know, staying somewhere else. Uh, this is the guest bathroom, uh, you know, shower, no, nothing special. Um, and, uh, but yeah, it's also nice, you know, they have their own, their own space uh, when they stay here. But, uh, 
I really like the natural lighting in here uh, when the sun is shining, uh, which, you know, here and there happens. Uh, it's nice. Uh, then this is my bathroom. I, of course, claimed it because uh, the urinal is a <laughs> huge, huge, uh, huge thing for me. And uh, so, yeah, that's kind of, that's the crib. Um, I love it. It's a nice, big, open space. Plenty of natural light that comes in. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I mean, it's always about taking it one game at a time. Uh, you know, it, there's, there's, no, there's no gimmies in EuroLeague. And, um, if, we, if we start looking ahead to the next game or, or something or, or saying, you know, if we win these two, then, then this one. And uh, I mean, it has to be one game at a time. And, uh, you know, that's the expectation for every single game is to win. Um, and I think that's the culture that's here. It's, that's what the fans expect, the coaches expect, and that's what you know, us as players expect. So. Um, you know, that's our goal, win, win every single night, and then uh, overall, uh, to make the EuroLeague playoffs, and, and then win the LKL uh, championship. So, uh, you know, we're, we're at first LKL right now, and uh, we have to stay, you know, focused on, on both leagues. You know, it's, it's, a, you know, it's easy to slip up in, in one or the other sometimes, and uh, I think it's a sign of true professionals, and when, you know, a team can, can stay uh, focused on both those leagues and really bring it every single night.